eggnog, one of the most beloved holiday drinks during the days between Thanksgiving and Christmas. In this video, I will show you how I adapted my family's recipe to be more of my liking. So join me today to see how I make this creamy, boozy, tasty drink. If you look up where eggnog originated from, you will find everything from it was first a drink in the 14th century called posset. Two, modern eggnog was introduced by the first president of the United States, George Washington. But where eggnog came from is not important here. What is important to know is what flavors you enjoy and to adapt a recipe to your liking. The recipe I had gotten from my family included sherry, brandy, and Jamaican rum. But I prefer spiced rum and bourbon only. I will now go over the recipe made famous by Dr. Rebecca Lansfield, a prominent microbiologist from Rockefeller Institute for Medical Research. Dr. Lansfield would make her eggnog every year before Thanksgiving and let it age for Christmas time. Not only did Dr. Lansfield state that the eggnog tasted better after the month of aging, but used that month to let the booze kill any traces of salmonella. Her recipe calls for a lot of booze, and I am not trying to get a whole office party drunk here. So I cut the recipe about in half and evened out the rum and bourbon amounts, leaving it strong enough that we still should not have any concern regarding salmonella poisoning. Salmonella poisoning is a threat in American eggs because they are not pasteurized like European eggs are. Because of the amount of booze in this eggnog, I feel safe serving this at parties to friends. But I would still not suggest serving raw eggs to anyone with a weakened immune system. Now, onto my recipe. Take three cups of very cold heavy whipping cream and whip until stiff peaks form. In a separate bowl, beat six eggs. Before dumping booze into the eggs, let me show you what happens if you pour your alcohol too fast. You can see here the booze actually chemically cooks the proteins in the eggs. This turns into strings of protein. And this is not anything you want in your nog. If you do notice, and of the proteins being cooked and turned into strings, you can run your eggnog through a strainer to filter them out. Measure out two cups of rum. So slowly drizzle in your lowest proof spirit. In my case, it's the rum while mixing on high. Even here, I should have gone slower. Now do the same for two cups of bourbon. I would highly suggest using rum and bourbon that you enjoy drinking, not the cheapest stuff you can find. Now I mix in one and a half cups of white sugar. and three cups of whole milk. Mix until well combined. Now mix in all of the beaten heavy cream from the other bowl. And mix to combine. Now dump your young eggnog into a vessel to age in. I am using a one gallon fermentation jar with an airlock to let gases escape. You can use mason jars. Just make sure to leave the lid slightly loose so any gases can escape and not build up pressure inside the jar. I doubt the jar would explode due to the pressure, but no reason to test this out. Place your eggnog in the fridge for at least three days to kill off any bacteria, but preferably three to four weeks. After four weeks, it's time to take the eggnog out of the fermentation jar and put into sanitized jars. For me, these 16 ounce jars are perfect. 
I'm going to give this a quick stir before transferring to the jars. You may notice that the fermentation jar has less than when we started. This is because I wanted to take samples each week during the aging to see what difference the aging process made. And I can say that each week the eggnog got more mellow and the booziness went away slightly. This improvement slowed between week three and four. So to me, the optimal time to serve would be at the three week mark. I have a jarring or canning funnel that is also sanitized to make filling the jars easier. If you would like to get this particular fermentation jar, I will leave a link down below in the description, along with other items used in the video. Let's speed through filling the rest of the jars, and I'll bring you back for the tasting. While we wait, tell me what types of alcohol do you prefer to add to your eggnog? No matter if it's self-fermented or store-bought, I enjoy my eggnog in these Christmas vacation inspired glasses, topped with a bit of fresh nutmeg. Delicious. First I need to say, drink responsibly, there is a lot of alcohol in this. Second, I am not here to help you lose weight. Eggnog is loaded with alcohol, sugar, and fat. So this is a treat, not a drink. Now that we have that out of the way, this is fucking delicious. If you have only ever had store bought crap, and judged all eggnogs off of that, give this a shot. The hardest part is waiting on it to age. But hey, if you are new here, please consider subscribing so you do not miss out on future content. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up for me, comment below with what you prefer in your eggnog, or any other questions or suggestions, thanks for watching.